Welcome back everyone. Today we're using Mega Gallade and National Dex and the idea is we have Stone Edge to lure Moltres and Zapdos. Now there's a big problem in this match and it's that my opponent doesn't have a Moltres or Zapdos so what I need to do is probably Stone Edge like the Pelipper or something. I'm a bit afraid of the Rain Mons too but we can beat them using like Tapu Lele because they can't Aqua Jet under that terrain and Alamomola can then tank the water moves, right? Let's lead off with something that threatens Pelipper. AKA this. I kinda wanna focus Blast into Ferrothorn, but also like, it's not worth it that early. Uh, they're also a Jet Button, so we burn that immediately. What is your play though? Because Floatzel can't, I wanna say can't touch all of Mamola, even with like Terra Wave Crash. Yeah, that doesn't do damage. Okay, so let's Wish up. I could also predict their switch into Ferrothorn here. Oh, they decide to Terra right now, dude. I don't know if that's a good idea. I mean, this is tricky because I have to protect. And then I'm going to die to the next hit. But they actually decide to switch, interestingly. I don't know why. Now let's think about this. Because if this wants to Tail Glow, I could Toxic it. But Rain is up, so they would immediately get rid of the Toxic. So I just flip turn here. And now... How do I hit this as hard as possible? The thing is, Gallade can't kill, and I kind of need to weaken them into range of Lele first for this to be a good situation. I could use Garchomp here and click Earthquake, then keep Gallade. What is better? I think Garchomp is worse than Gallade in this game, so we'll go Garchomp right here and just click Earthquake to try to weaken this, and then we'll go Gallade and attack. Or actually, Lele and attack is even better, so we'll do that. And worst case, they go Ferrothorn, and I can... I mean, do I think they'll double? No, they don't. Okay, so I got up rocks here. I don't really care about Heatran's health, obviously, like it's a Heatran. We do have Terra Grass, but... I don't know about this. This is kind of why I wish I had Taunt. I have Flamethrower for uh, like stuff like Subglare Surf, so I don't miss. Okay, but they actually just go straight for that, which is fine. We know they've used their Terra. Why did this come in? Are you super... No, you're not Super Sonic Sky Strike. You're Heavy Duty Boots. So this one's the Defog, meaning I just go for Psychic. Yep, perfect. And now you either go Ferrothorn and play into the same outcome. I'm so sure they're doubling this turn, but how, like... Am I willing to risk the game on it? No, I'm not. They're, like, so doubling, though. I can't risk the game. Oh, they just got a Brox. Okay, perfect. I don't care about that. We can go for rocks of our own here. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> Have I lost to Shell Smash Blastoise, potentially? Maybe. I mean, like, that one is always going to be tricky. We do have Terra Grass on this, but not many good ways to threaten it. So they go hard into it. I mean, they're going to Shell Smash, right? I have to attack it while I can. Oh, it's White Herb. It's not the other one. So I think I have to Terra Grass to beat this. Like, they click a water move here. Okay, can plus four Ice Beam kill me? I don't think it can, dude. Spidef Heatran is completely broken. And it's a Blast Waste. Like, it's strong, but it's not that strong, right? Let's see this. 85 Spitak, dude. There's no way this kills. Wave Crash. Oh, I'm fine. Why are you physical? Alright, well, that was really scary, but we're good. Mm. Psychic is the spammable move at this point. Do I need Terra Grass Heatran still? I mean, it's a grass type against Rain, which is nice. Can't be Elite Sheeted. I do like having it around. I'm debating going Tornadus here. I mean, Accurate Hurricanes are nice too, but we'll, we'll do it. I'll go Tornadus, because basically what this says is they have to go Pelipper, and then I get to click Hurricane. I mean, Ferrothorn can come in, but I'm just going to U-turn into Heatran, and what are you doing about it? Yeah, they try to Leech Seed for recovery because they know they need it, but I'm not going to ever let that happen. Let's knock it out there. Pelipper comes in. I think Hard Tornadus. I mean, it took Hazard, so maybe it's Specs. What's the safest way to go about this? I think Heatran is actually a sack at this point. Yeah, it is not specs, it's probably boots, or I mean like Damperock, yeah, it's definitely Damperock. 
In fact, I think we saw Damp Rock earlier, so I don't know why I'm saying Specs at all, but <laughs> that's not important. Let's just try to sweep them up using Psychic and Tornadus and stuff. Is this Rest? I'll keep the Sack, because it is Rest. Yeah, I figured if it's coming out here on Rain, it's going to have Rest. We will Hurricane under Rain now to get as much damage as possible off. Scald like hurts. Like here's the thing, I don't want them resting as I U-turn into Heatran, so let's just sack this. And they try to do that, yeah. And now we can go Lele, Psychic through this Mon. And that's like the last scary Mon on their team. Because Floatzel I just trade with Alamamola and we're fine. They might sack Tornadus this turn, but they decide to sack the Manaphy, which actually lives, I really didn't think it would. We can still come back in one more time, which is nice, but makes this a bit trickier than I wanted. Like, do I Psychic here and then go Gallade? I might have lost because I took damage there. I didn't think I would have to. Okay, well, I might have to dodge Hurricane now, unless... No, no, I don't have to dodge Hurricane. I go U, I click Flip Turn. That's the one way I lose. I, I need to break through because I need flip turn damage for Shadow Sneak to kill this. Come on. Okay, they go. F I need to break through this turn. Okay, we did. Let's go you. Let's click Zen Headbutt. We get confused. It's like whatever. I mean, I need to break through here, but it's like... Okay, nice. We break through. I think I'm still fine. Like, I have to check some things right now. Can Shadow Sneak kill this from this percent? I want to say no. Floatzel. Shadow Sneak doesn't kill. So I have to sack Heatran, go you, flip turn, Shadow Sneak, and try to go that route. Oh, wait, they're going for flip turn, interestingly. So I do the same thing here. I think they're throwing because, like, here's the thing. I flip turn here. Oh, that's not enough damage. So they're going to Hurricane. I can take two of them, right? 35. I need to not get confused again. And then I win. Oh, they went for knockoff. Okay, perfect. So I flip turn here. And now I go for Shadow Sneak twice and win. Because if they're banded, they have to lock Aqua Jet. And we pick up the K kill right there. Nice. That was a crazy game one. I don't think either of us played it perfectly in that end game, but I did what I had to to try to win, right? We got the Floatzel in range of Shadow Sneak, and we used Flip Turn all Mamola to put Torn in a position where I think they want to stay in because then they don't know I have Shadow Sneak yet, right? That was the goal. Now here, my win condition is definitely Moonblast slash Psychic from Tapu Lele. Probably Moonblast because it's guaranteed every turn, but they do have some resists in the middle. I'm thinking we lead off with Tapu Lele because I can switch into either of these, so. Do I think they're Scarf Meow? I have to scout for it, right? If they're Scarf, they'll go for U-turn. And that's okay, I think. They go for Knockoff. I think that's Scarf anyway, but... Like, it might be Boots too, which is why I wish I went for Moonblast. I can't lose my Scarf, though, on that mod, so they go f Okay, so they are Choice Scarf, right? That's... No, I'm not a fast Torn, I have to remember that. Either way, though, I go Gallade here. It's like a pretty free play, and... I mean, I... They have an Aegislash. I wish I had Knockoff. Is there a play that covers multiple things? I mean, like, I could double to Heatran. They're just clicking Knockoff. They don't care. I'm clicking Magma Storm, whatever. And I get rid of Miascarada. Okay, so they, their game plan was lead Miascarada and spam knockoff, I guess. Sure. Here I can go all of Mamola and f flip turn into Tapu Lele and click Moonblast again. And they sack this. Okay, this guy doesn't care. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> Scout for stuff, dude. <laughs> Watch them try to Shadow Sneak me here under terrain. I would laugh. I could have clicked rocks that turn, which is crazy, but... 
It's like whatever. I can just. I mean, what are they gonna do here? Like a U turn? I was really hoping I could live that somehow. That would have been really funny, but. I mean, there's like nothing they can do in this game, kinda. They like are so weak to. I feel like this is also the type of guy to click King Shield for no reason, but he doesn't. Okay, he doesn't do that. There we go, we got our SD up. I could scale shot, but why? Like, let's just Earthquake and get a kill. They go Hatterene to prevent it. And, uh, yeah, this guy didn't play it optimally. I could kind of tell how this was going to go when he just spammed a knockoff without thinking, but... I'll keep this because it's a Thunderclap immunity, I guess. Like, why not? Raging Bolt. I'll click Flip Turn here. I think... That seems correct. I mean, I could also, like... Yeah, because I thought they would try to set up as a last-ditch effort sort of thing. So I go you. This will force out Terra, basically. Yeah, there we go. Now we have several options. I think you and Terra Psyshock is just the win, right? So that's what we're doing. Tapu Lele will Terastalize, then use Psyshock. And it didn't kill somehow, but we will kill them with the next one, so... Hatterene dies, Cinderace will die too, I guess. I don't know, like, that thing's at 8%. <laughs> they can't Thunderclap under this terrain. I'll go all of Mamola for the fun of it. I mean, it'll live. Oh, wait, we can use Gallade. And actually, no, we can't kill with Gallade because that thing's too healthy. Dang. Well, I'll just close combat here. And then... Like... Okay, they leave. Alright, this might be the game. They have a Moltres, so let's try to lure that. What I was trying to do last game was get the defense boosts off Gallade, bring it back in, and then try to Stone Edge the Cinderace at the end, but unfortunately they left the game, which is what it is. What I want to do is lead... I mean, if they want to lead Samurott, Lele is like my play. They lead Lando, which... I could Moonblast into. I think they're going to scout using Glow King. No, they don't care. So they just take the damage, but I get a ton of damage on Lando in the process, which is helpful. Now, there's going to be a point in this game where I get in Gallade, and we have to make a decision. And the decision is, do I Stone Edge immediately, or close combat risking Flame Body, and then hope I don't get burned in Stone Edge after? That's going to be the deciding turn here. This wants to click Ceaseless Edge, right? And they actually miss it, which is great for me, bad for them, obviously. Missing Ceaseless Edge is like the worst feeling because then you miss out on a hazard and like damage, so that's never fun. I'll just flip turn into Tornadus here. I could have gone Gallade there, but now is not the time. Let's defog these hazards away first. Knock off there. If I go Gallade, it's like screaming that I have it, so I'm not doing that. They might have Scorching Sands. Okay, they actually scout using Gloking. I don't know if these run Earthquake anymore, do they? Okay, they just put up a Future Sight, which is, like, to be expected. Now, unfortunately, Moltres is kind of dead, which is not how I wanted this to go. I'll sponge the Future Sight with this. Like, this has a Regenerator, so it can afford to. And I think this is Scarf based on the Psy Shock damage from earlier. I'm not going to get to Stone Edge this one. No, you know what? I am. And we're clicking it, and I don't care. I, I could click Close Combat, but this is what we're doing instead. Okay, well, we hit it. <laughs> I could have uh, just not done a stupid play there, but, you know, I wanted to Stone Edge Moltres, and it, we got to, so, you know, it worked. Let's just uh, go Tornadus, I think. We do a little bit of throwing for content. Normally I don't, but like, I really wanted to Stone Edge and Moltres this game. Let's just go Garchomp here. We still have a full spit FE trend. Like, I'm not really worried about this at all. I'm pretty sure I'm still winning, which is why I did all of that. Chili's into who? Samurott, which is toxic. Like, that's the thing. We're totally fine right now. Which is why I'm not worried. I can probably afford to take the hit with Garchomp. Hmm. 
Like, as long as Heatran's alive, I'm not losing to Coco, and that's the important thing. So, I sack Alo here. If this is choice, that's really funny, and it is. <laughs> okay, let's go for EQ. And uh, this will be a win anyway, but, uh, yeah, weird game, to say the least. Goes for Dazzle. I go you here and just flamethrower. I can't afford to sack this, that's how I lose, so I, I go all of my mola here. Flip turn, go you. Now you have to either prankster Destiny Bond and then Heatran will win, and that's that. Yep, and now I go Heatran, and there's not a single Coco set in the world that can beat Terra Grass right now. So we can go ahead and do that, tank the Thunderbolt, and flamethrower them. So that worked out. We have another game right here. We had our fun. Let's just try to play a bit more seriously now. Now, I played this guy earlier and lost, but it was a really close game. He knows that I have Stone Edge on Gallade for Volcarona because that's how I killed it last time. So it's going to be even trickier this time, unfortunately. Their Dragonite was Terra Normal E speed, so let's keep Lele around for that. I think I lead Tornadus as they lead Landorus. I don't remember what this was at all. I'll just go for knockoff. They'll probably just pivot Rotom, which is good for me. Like, if there's Scarf Stone Edge, I think I might die. Like, it's a tricky situation, but they go for a U-turn, so I'm going to get a free knockoff on somebody. Like, it's got to be Rotom, right? Who else do you go here? And then after that, what do I want to U-turn into? The problem with Garchomp as a ground type is that like, sure, it's a good Volt Switch immunity, but a lot of Volt Switchers, like Rotom in particular, like to click other stuff like Ice Moves, Will-O-Wisp, Terra Blast. It's not very fun, but we can make it work. I do want to beat this guy this time, though, so hopefully we can do that. Like, last time what happened was I killed the Volcarona, and then Dragonite got me in the end, so we get rid of lefties. I'll U-turn here. I know it has will o -Wisp, and they're probably going to click will o -Wisp. No, they just Volt Switch. I could have gone Garchomp. Okay. But, like, I don't know. That's such a bad play, though. Let's go Heatran here. Like, knock off my lefties. That's fine. They don't want to stay in this turn. Let's go for Flamethrower and just break this multi-scale, right? That's really nice. I can go all of Mamola here. I don't want to play into the same cycle as last time, where I went all of Mamola, flip turned, threatening toxic, they went fair throw, and it never really progressed to anything. I'll, I'll do it once, and then we'll see how they react. Because if they don't roost, which they don't understand, I mean, not understandably, I think they should have, then we're in a good spot. So they go for the burn. I mean, I know that I don't have terrain right now, but we can Moonblast this for damage. Maybe they'll Willow me, but I think they'll just go... Oh, the crit's annoying. Yeah, I really don't like that at all, because now they're going to U-turn here. Oh, they actually did go for Stone Edge. Good play, dude. Now let's think about it. If they're going to switch predicting my switch to Alamomola, it's going to be Rotom. I'm so confident they're going Rotom this turn. They actually went Metacham. Okay, perfect. So we're getting some plays of our own, correct? I think I can go Lele this turn. Now, how do I react? Because I know this Rotom has Pain Split, which is not a thing I want to have happen. Let's double here. Let's go for Rocks as Dragonite comes in, and then let's try to go a la Mamola and flip turn out. Perfect. Or I could Toxic. They just go Pharaoh. As flip turn was so free. I don't know why I didn't do that. Okay, we're fine though. Rocks are up. My top of Lele still has multiple switches left, which is nice. So this turn, I think they're going to roost. Let's go Lele here. Ah, if they Earthquake, I'm, I'm going to lose. The thing is, like, even if they roost and I go Lele, I still don't kill them and then I die to Earthquake. So I have to go Alo. Okay, well, this one's to paint split. I'm not letting it. Yeah, like, they, they're just going to paint split. <laughs> and we catch them on the Volt Switch. Perfect. Okay. This is a good position, because what I can do here is potentially SD sweep. Oh, they just got so unlucky, damn. 
I feel bad. I do have Fire Fang. They might try to pivot Lando and like do the cycle like that. Dragonite's at 70. They sack Rotom. That's a super unlucky miss. I feel bad about that for sure. Now how do I react here? Because I do like Drag Garchomp in this game still. Does Fake Out plus BP kill me? Let's see here. Garchomp against Medicham. It doesn't. And I could always whiz past to this. I think I take the damage while I can. Yeah, BP won't kill me next turn. Do I Fire Fang? No, they just Scale Shot. What's the reason? 8, 8, 9, 8. So it looks like as long as I hit the Scale Shot, we're good. As they go Dragonite trying to like predict EQ or something. Sorry for the miss. Yeah, like that's just, uh, they can't do anything. So we're going to go ahead and win. We have another team here with a Moltres. So we have another opportunity to hit Stone Edge. Ideally on the first try this time, but who knows now. I'm actually really curious how that game would have played out had they hit Will-O-Wisp because Garchomp would have put on some pressure, but I don't just win the game right there, right? So maybe that would have been really bad because they hit the Will-O-Wisp and then even if I wish past a Garchomp later, it's burned and it can't do anything. Either way, though, I do force one KO probably there with Garchomp, which is helpful. Let's just try to focus on this game right here and lead off with Gallade. I was hoping they would just lead Moltres for no reason, but this is their rocker. I can go Tornadus and just defog. They actually opt for immediate U-turn. Now into who? Because not a lot wants to come in on Tornadus. If they go Hatterene, I'm going to assume Nuzzle and try to U-turn. Now, I really don't want to go Garchomp on Nuzzle because while it can absorb it, they, they're a fairy type. So like, what's the point? I think I U-turn into Heatran on Hatterene. Wait, I'm going to knock off this. And then U-turn here, I think. Into who, though? Like, I mean, I have to U-turn. I don't threaten them, but this is going to have Earthquake, probably. I don't want to sack Heatran. Let's just go Gallade, I think. Oh, they body press. Okay, perfect. And uh, here is where we have to make decisions. I'm just going to Stone Edge. Come on. Go Moltres. I want this to be the turn. Why do you stay in? Just a toxic me, dude. Like, I'm a fighting type with close combat. Now they go Lando. Luckily, I do a ton to that because of Inner Focus's buff, but I don't get the... Like, the only reason I'm Stone Edging too is because I don't want to get Flame Bodied, and maybe I should have just gone for the CC and seen what happened. This might be Scarf based on the CC damage. I can't believe that happened, though. I'm just going to CC here. Yeah, I'm not predicting this guy anymore after that turn. I do want to wish past to this, though. That's, that Moltres will get Stone Edged. I don't care. Even if it Terra's, I don't, like, really mind. Goes for U-turn. Iron Valiant's, like, the scary mon at this point. I mean, CM Hatterene is, too. Anyway, Iron Valiant's not so scary anymore. A Tornadus here and U-turn. They might try to pivot Moltres now. Now goes Lando. I'm pretty sure I just win this, but... Yeah, because that's Scarf Lando, so we're going to be able to get the KO. I can't believe they didn't go Moltres. I'm so sad. I mean, like, I'm happy because we're winning. <laughs> but... I really want to do that at some point today. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, can you not 6 0 me with this mon real quick? I mean, at the end of the day, the goal is get them in range of Garchomp and then Terrifier it, so we should be fine in that regard. Let's just uh, hit the Magma Storm Heatran, so that way we're getting residual. Terra Waters. I'm in Earth Power now. This won't be healthy enough to win, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, you're going to be so low by the time this exchange is over. And I'm never going to let you drain and kiss a mon that gives you health. Okay, we get rid of it. I got some lucky spit after ops, but like, that doesn't win. Okay, I can go you and Psychic and win the game now. 
they might go Bennett to sack, but like they're heavy duty boots, meaning if they stay in, they can't do anything. They just can't tear. And we're good to go here, basically, is what I'm trying to conclude with. Now, if I was that guy, I would switch out into Gallade, but we already tried to mess with that whole thing once this today, and it didn't work, so we're not doing that again. Okay, we have a game here against a rain squad, so what I want to do is anti-lead Pelipper, as you always want to do against a rain, because that's usually their goal. Now here, can I afford to sack this when they have a Mega Lopunny? I could probably be Mega Lopunny using all of Mamola. I'm just gonna go Tornadus actually. Why sack this turn one? Do I die to Ivy Cudgel? I feel like I don't. Okay, so they're gonna get Spadef Boost. That's fine. They won't kill me. Now they're gonna go for Ivy Cudgel, but Heatran will beat it eventually, I think. Ivy Cudgel's there. Let's protect the scout the move. Trailblaze. Okay, so I have to tear a dragon. Okay, perfect. They trailblaze to try to kill me, and they don't. Sucks that I had to use Terra that early, but it is what it is, right? I don't really like have another choice against this lead. Ivy Cudgel's there. It's plus two and will kill because it did 50 before. Tornadus will die. I think I sack this then kill it using... I have to sack two mons actually. Unless I double protect. And we did? Okay. That was uh, definitely a bailout, but... Do I need this? It's good against Urshifu, but not that good. I'm assuming they'll just stay in. They might go Pelipper, but like, I don't think they will, yeah. So we still have Lele for Alamamola. I mean, uh, what did I just say? We still have Lele for Lopunny. There we go. Uh, we can... Yeah, they fake out. Okay, perfect. Nice. Let's Psychic here. So the rain component is getting broken down and they stay in there. Nice. I just get rid of it. That double protect was so clutch. I don't know how I feel about Alamamola as a Pokemon. Like, it's a good pivot, but that's like basically all it does. So let's take like a steel move, right? I'll go you and Earth Power. Actually, let's look rocks here, because if they go Pelipper, I want to get something out of the turn. Yeah. And now we can go Tornadus, I think. Because I know that gets Weather Ball, right? So we have to remember that. But it can't beat Garchomp. And if they Terra, then Lele will kill it. So let's Hurricane there for a ton of damage on Pelipper. Maybe I can Stone Edge that later. But Zen Handbutt kills too. So why would I do that? This probably wants to Weather Ball here, right? I think I knock the lefties and just sack this. Dragon Pulse. I mean, they're going to Thunderclap here, but I don't care. Like, let's just Hurricane. Yeah, there's the Thunderclap. And now I can go Garchomp and Earthquake. This will force out Terra. And then... Oh, they don't Terra it. So what's your win condition? Like, what, what are you trying to win with? I mean, I have Rough Skin if you want to hit me. Okay, cool. Let's try to see if Gallade can sweep this game now. Look, we have CC, and we have move to hit Pelipper. But, I don't know, like... Let's just Shadow Sneak, and... Yeah, they go ahead and forfeit. Alright, we'll go ahead and wrap it up against this Darkrai team right here. Against Darkrai, I think I want to lead Lele, but... They do have good Lele switch-ins. We still do it, because everybody leads Darkrai if you have a Darkrai. Focus Blast covers both Lele and Darkrai. I'm just going to click it. It's Oh, they're Terra Poison. They're Scarfed Terra Poison. Okay. Well, that's good information that they're Scarfed, but... Maybe Heatran Hard was the better play. But also, like... 
I don't need Lele to win this. Maybe I did. I can go Tornadus here and knock off. They go for U-turn. I do get rid of Helmet, which is helpful. Glade can still break this team, so that's what we're going to try to go for. Okay, you can sub. And then Dragon Pulse, sure. I'll get up rocks here. We can play this back. I mean, it's going to be hard, but it's not going to be that difficult as long as I can continuously pressure this. Does it defog again? Yeah, it's going to defog. But I'm weakening it every turn. Luckily, I hit the Hurricane. And I always go hard U-Tran on Raging Bolt, so that way I don't get Thunderclapped, so... Out comes their Heatran. I'm going to knock off the item. And then let's U-turn here into Alamamola. And then flip turn into Garchomp, probably. Or Gallade. Gallade's fine, too, because Lander is so low. Okay, if this is Flame Body and I get Flame Bodied, we forfeit and say GG. Okay, that, I didn't get Flame Bodied. <laughs> I don't think Darkrai can kill me with Dark Pulse from whatever it's at, so... Oh, they go Valiant. Okay, this is tricky because I don't know what Valiant's doing at all. It's SD. Okay, I think I can beat SD using Toxic. SD's again. Might have to sack the entire regen core here to beat this, but we'll manage. I don't know, they're, they're gonna keep it, right? They're gonna try to keep it. Okay, they don't. I can Shadow Sneak here. We're still in this game. It's just like... In fact, I think I do win if I don't get too unlucky, but... Because this can't intimidate me and it'll die. This can't kill me at all and I just Zen Headbutt it. It needs to Dark Pulse flinch me and doesn't my ability stop flinches? Inner focus. Okay, I just need to not get like unlucky with a miss here this doesn't do anything for you I mean the best play is Zen Headbutt again so I'll just risk it right now they're gonna go Scizor which Heatran stops unless they're SDCC but even then Garchomp might be enough they do have CC are you faster probably but they don't want to risk it What's more important, damage or... Like, here's the thing. I have Terra Fire, which will win, probably. So they decide to go for Dragon Pulse. I don't know why they're attacking me with Dragon Pulse. Do you not have, like, Thunder or something? Okay, now I just go Garchomp and win, right? They've terra I go U and EQ. And then I Terra and I can't... Like, they have to Dark Pulse flinch me. That's their only way. And then I Fire Fang the Scizor, and we're going to be good here. I knew it would be Ice Beam, for sure, so... Let's go ahead and wrap it up right there with the Fire Fang, and that'll be the live. Very successful live. Did we go undefeated? We might have gone undefeated. I don't remember, but either way, I'm very happy with how it went. Gallade, while it didn't get to shine with Stone Edge, it did Stone Edge and Moltres and got to click it a few other times, so it is what it is. Like I said, if you enjoyed, be sure to sub, and I'll see you next time.